Okay, that was Spread and Rhythm Around Remix with Billy Holiday. And I'm here with Gloves and Braden Adams. Oh, oh. Sorry, uh, because I'm thinking of Barry. No, yeah, you're Braden Adams. What are um, you smoking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, oh, well Bra Braden Adams is going to play you the best of ACDC and Metallica Always. for, for oh, two yeah. hours. Okay. So uh, um, here, let me just talk to Gloves for a moment here. Um, what can I do for you? You heard my rants. Yeah. What What's on your mind today? Oh. Oh, ranting wise, uh, well, I've been having a little bit of problem. I don't know if anybody's heard about that. Uh, this might be a little bit of a hot topic, but that's okay. I don't know if anybody's heard about that girl up in the Okanagan who was uh, who was knifed. She got knifed and actually ended up dying. We're going over that in a few of my classes right now, and there's a lot of people that are, are not looking at the issue for what it really is. Uh, it's been it's been bothering me in the sense that people generally assume that because a person is attractive and and you know maybe I'll use the word loosely but popular that that they're completely innocent and when something bad happens to them. It's completely just inexcusable and stuff like that. Because, I mean, a lot of the stuff that I've been hearing about this guy, I haven't been hearing any real information about this story. All I've been hearing is, is how, how, how like, shocked everybody is that this happened and no real facts. And, and people are just making massive sweeping judgments on this, on this issue without even knowing the facts. And, I, and it's bothering me. I don't know. People's just inability to, to, to base opinion on fact instead of a first glance is basically what I'm trying to get at here. And it drives me crazy. And it's applicable to just about every sort of situation, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, well I, I know all the facts, so all my rantages are all based on fact, and I'm absolutely right all the time. And I appreciate that. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, Brayden. Hey. Hey. Um, What's on your mind these days? What's on my mind? Um, besides heavy metal... Um, yeah, you can't you can't besides, wait you can't wait it. till ACDC releases another album, right? Oh my gosh, I'm just, just they just released another one, but I think they did, just hit did they the like studio. like already ever since like like Rock and Roll Train? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've never listened to ACDC. I hate them. Oh, <laughs> I hate everything they stand for. Okay. Horrible. Um, okay. I've done way, way too many ACDC rants. Actually, what's been on my mind a lot lately. Is I know I don't have cable at home, for many reasons. Yeah, I'm a more productive human being. I like to think I am anyway. Yeah. But then I, anyway, uh, it it's more so to stay clear of the uh, stuff I don't want to watch on TV. So you know the stuff I do want to watch, I'll just get on DVD and watch it at home in my own time. Yeah. So I'm working through Battlestar Galactica right now, laugh whatever, and I'm just about done. I have two episodes left, and I'm have a pretty good feeling it's going to end very disappointingly. So what's on my mind is, do I find another show to become addicted to? Flight of the Concords. Yes. So I guess Fl the answer I need to your question would be yes. I, I, I need feedback on this. I'm being told I should watch Heroes. And, oh, I uh, Because, I mean, I've worked my way through the office like 50 million times. Yeah. Well, that's tough, man. I don't know. It depends on what you're into. I guess, Fl like, hey, do you like the past Battlestar Galactica thing? I love it. I don't know. Absolutely that's tough, not. though. That's pretty like that's pretty niche. But I guess you watch The Office too, because I mean it's hard to be like I'm pretty all over the place. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I'm like working my way through Lost right now, and I have no Lost, idea. Lost, dude. Oh, my roommate's like a huge fan. Apparently, that show is just the most insane thing. I've it's ever. crazy. Like I, I'm only about halfway through like the whole series, but like, yeah. if like what I've seen so far, I mean, if you miss one episode, there's no way. Like <laughs> you become lost. You're like involved in the show almost. That's You're awesome. like completely confused as to what's happening but i mean like i've watched every episode now and it's it's really good writing some of the best writing i've ever seen so. yeah that's basically what i heard i haven't heard a single bad thing about it yeah exactly but I, I don't know how it ends and i've been hearing some murmurs that the ending might not be so great so um, it's you know when a show is hype even it, even not, not when it's hype but when it's that good it's hard to close close exactly. it and have everybody just like happy. the sopranos i loved that the way the sopranos ended people were just, so i was gonna say angry. did everyone just die I, I never think, really watched this. Sopranos, I think like though. the way the Sopranos spoiler alert if you're watching the Sopranos right now, by the way. But I think it just ends like I think it's just sort of they're in a restaurant or whatever, and they like play that song that uh, oh I forget what song is that Don't Stop Believing song or whatever. Yeah. And then it just goes black and it's done. 
and nothing happens, and that's like the end of the series. <laughs> and everyone was just going crazy over how bad it was, but I loved it. I thought it was great that they ended it that way. Cause that's they, funny. Yeah, I know, but I wouldn't watch it now. Well, at least, I, I guess it's better to piss everybody off than, I don't know. like, pick a side, They have, like, a country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> You just make a new side. <laughs> I'll <Yeah>. do nothing. <laughs> That's an interesting take. So, Flight of the Concords. I've been hearing good things about that well, show. Okay, here, here, take this. All right, I'll, I'll, you go, Johnny. Because I just caught my third episode ever um, last night, and it was one with the epileptic dog. What? <laughs> yeah, but these guys are really funny. I, I, I heard of them through um, their vinyl record. Because I got their vinyl record, which yeah. is really cool. So they make music? Yeah. Yeah. Of. Well, yeah. Kind of well, like Lonely Island sort of stuff. I don't know a lot about the show. I, yeah. I remember I heard okay. something about them. So it's one of these two guys. And actually, um, what I heard from our friend at work, um, she goes by Bucky O'Hare on yeah. Facebook. Gotcha. Okay. Um, she, they're called Flood of the Concords because they have, the only gigs they get is at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know in the in the previews that I see for the show, like I see them playing like in a laundromat or like just on the street or whatever. Yeah. And uh, they're just these two quirky guys. Yeah, from New Zealand, I think. Or yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So they got the great accents. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And uh, the show I saw last night was pretty interesting. It was about well, it has to do with the one song on their album. Um, I'm we're both in love with the beautiful woman, and they, they they're both in love with the same woman. And in the, in the show, long story short, they're both kind of fighting over her. But she in the end, you find out she she thinks that they're both gay, <laughs> so she's not interested in any in any of them. But then when she had to choose, she chooses one over the other. Um, but there was one point where she was liking one guy because of his beard, so the other guy glues a funny beard on <laughs> to impress her, and uh, she liked she liked glasses, so the one guy who doesn't wear glasses started wearing glasses, and then they did a benefit concert for epileptic dogs, and they had what? this yeah, and then they so they had this sad song like save the epileptic dogs kind of like we are the world, yeah. uh, but then at one point they stopped dogs. yeah, and then at one point. <laughs> They shout remix, and then they have the beats going in the strobe lights. So they don't show dogs having epileptic seizures. Oh, I you see. Can, oh, you yeah. can imagine what happened. <laughs> so, and then, so it is. But it is. So it is at the end of the show when she was saying, "Well, it was a disaster. The only dogs that weren't having having epileptic seizures <laughs> were the ones that didn't have it." That didn't have it? <laughs> didn't have epilepsy. <laughs> the only dogs that didn't have epileptic seizures were the ones that didn't have epilepsy. And then, but then, so I'm just in there, what a bunch of jer- what a couple of jerks. But then at the end, the girl goes off on a date where she chooses the one guy and says, yeah, I want to hang out with you. And then they go off to do something. It's kind of like everything's okay. Yeah. You know? So it was a happy ending. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if these are reruns. Or what? Because I've had this album for a while. I featured it on the show. I've even played that song on this show. <laughs> it was quite a while ago. Um, but it's on the Comedy Network. I don't know if I'm allowed to promote TV shows. Just look for it then. Okay. But I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to sit here telling you what time yeah. shows are on and Check stuff, I guess. Comedy Central at yeah. 8 p.m. on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. You know? <laughs> Um, listen to this radio station. You know? Yes. So, so yeah. So, but the, like, I don't watch much TV. Like, I've watched more TV in the past week because the World Cup of football um, than, like, in the past year. Football. Actually, I think it's the World Cup of soccer. I, I think that's what they call it. Is that what they call it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, who's everyone cheering for, by the way? Well, I'm cheering for, for Greece. Greece. That's obvious. But Greece, I hope they're, they're playing tomorrow morning. I hope they show up to play this time. Are they contenders at all? No. 